guys, and welcome to Wonelli Deli. We're basically at the entrance to Yosemite Tioga Pass area in route to Los Angeles. We are picking up a camper, something that we've kind of been thinking about for a while. Finally decided it was time to pull the trigger. So we're doing a road trip. And the funny thing is, I do this trip a lot, the Reno to Los Angeles thing, just with my job in the film industry, but I never get to bring Haley. So we are doing a husband and wife and road dogs. Trip. Yep, road dogs. trip. If you wanna play around, let me teach you a lesson. Listen right up. This is my house. Do you have any questions? Here you go, babe. Thank you. Watch out, very hot. Yum. Like you. <laughs> uh, there you go. All right, guys, welcome to the next morning. I honestly planned on filming a lot more yesterday, but things just kind of got away from us. We ended up running a tad behind because we didn't anticipate the dogs needing so much attention as far as they wanted to stop all the time to go sniff everything in the world. And I don't know. So I planned on filming a little bit more of us purchasing this thing as well as getting out to where we're camping now, but of course we ended up out here like at 10 p.m. in the pitch black. Again, running behind. You know how it goes, the best laid plans often go awry. But anyway, I wanted to share this with you guys because I figured if you're into the flying that I do and the adventures I go on, you'd probably be into something like this. So this is a, a Black Series C12. It's kind of like an overlanding or off-roading camper. And really the camper thing Haley and I have been kind of lightly looking into for, I mean, heck, it had to have been eight years ago, well before we got married, that we looked at our first RV. And then just never made sense, I guess, or the stars didn't align. And then when I kind of stumbled on these things not long ago, and realized this could probably fit our bill pretty well, and I'll explain why. Now first, it's very compact and lightweight, so it's not something that you need like a gigantic truck to tow, or that's gonna be a really big headache to get in and out of places. Also, because this thing's built for off-roading, it's got like independent trailing arm suspension, and everything's pretty beefy on it, I feel like it should be a little more robust than most RVs or campers because I swear every time I go out camping with my friends, something breaks on someone's RV and it's just a pain. And I know the nature of all of these type vehicles is that they're made with, you know, lightweight components and they normally are trying to also battle costs because they can't make them out of the world expensive. So you end up with kind of cheap, lightweight components that break. So I'm hoping by going with the off-road type one that's made to be more durable and robust that we won't have as many of those issues. Already? I know. Haley, we can't take you anywhere. Tide pen? <laughs> I literally at the gas station on the way out here bought her a Tide pen because Haley is the queen of no matter what she's eating or drinking, it's getting on her. And she's just, it's really cute, but uh, you know, she fights it. It's the one thing I hid from you before we got married. <laughs> Um, it is really cool. I don't know how often this is going to be used because we love the outdoor shower aspect, but they do have a nice indoor shower with a toilet. Yes. So, so that's one of the big things that this actually does have a bathroom for the ladies. Yep, yep. It's really, really nice. And also, you guys probably saw that the top of this thing is a pop top. So it's a tent top, um, raises up about 18 inches. When it's down, it's about five foot tall, so you kind of have to crawl in here. But when it's all the way up like it is now, I mean, I'm six foot, I got about a half a foot or at least five inches above my head. So makes it spacious enough, but still toes really easy because of the way it breaks down. And then as far as inside, we just have like a little sink in here and then some of the controls. Okay, and then the outside to us is the cool part because honestly, if you're going out camping, you want to be outdoors. We didn't really want the type of RV that you end up just sitting inside or cooking inside, like we had no interest in that. So one of the cool selling points of this thing was the outdoor kitchen. So all of this just slides out on the little rails. 
you just hook up to the propane and water. So then you have an outdoor sink and a little cooktop as well as some kind of prep area around it. And then on this side, it's gonna have just a little, it's I guess an electric cooler, but I guess they call them a fridge. It has plenty of space for, you know, some of your stuff. It's basically like a cooler. And then coming around to this side, we got hot water heater, but this is the outdoor shower portion. So basically there's a rail right here that they have a full tent that kind of pops out and creates an enclosure for your outdoor shower. So instead of having to shower in with the toilet in there, once you're set up, I'd probably put some little grate to stand on, but then there's a little mount to hold an outdoor shower head and you can just shower outside. Front holds two propane tanks and then some jerry cans. What's a jerry can? Jerry can's like a five gallon gas can or water can. Oh. Yeah. So I know that I said my plans kind of went awry. I had this idea in my head that they would, we would just be rolling in at sunset. I'd be throwing the drone up. We'd be seeing Mount Whitney in the background because we are literally in the shadow or the portal to Mount Whitney, which is the highest peak in the lower 48. And to those of you that haven't ever been to Alabama Hills or seen Alabama Hills, it's a beautiful area. There's a ton of film work done out here. So I actually have been out here a lot on different film jobs, never camped out here. So I'm glad that we at least made it out, even though the smoke rolled in so heavy that we can't see anything and the air quality is not that beautiful, but still got to break in the camper the right way. And Haley already said she wants to come back. So I think that's a win in my book. Yes. So now, because we were not prepared, we're going to go get a nice breakfast and then we're going fishing. Baby little rainbow. Oh, Lee guacamole. This is a big guy. Oh, snapped my line. Oh no. Where'd it go? It snapped the tip off. Oh no. <laughs> well, crap. I got into a pretty decent sized brown just now, but uh, ended up snapping my rod. It was going down a little rapid. I was trying not to let it run too far, trying to hold it. And right as I reached for the line, the rod tip broke off. And the funny thing is I had a buddy of mine do the same thing on a big fish with one of my other Tenkara rods the other day. And I, <laughs> cause I'm just totally obsessed with this. I bought this other rod called a Hellbender, which is made for landing big fish. Of course, I broke that the other day when I slipped on a rock and landed right on it. God dang, that was sketchy. Oh, what the, Are you kidding me? So yeah, I'm down like three rods this week, but that was not a complete failure. I did land one, had another good size one on. I wish I could have landed that because that would have been an awesome fish. But again, I'm working with the $30 cheap Chinese Tenkara rod. Anyway, not bad for a 15 minute break. Now back on the road. and made it back into the smoke and the wind like we've been battling for weeks now, but we've got our new camper, new to us camper, our first camper, yeah. home safe and sound. What do you think? I mean, I like it. I, you know, you know me, I wasn't for it. Yeah. I just didn't think it was money we should be spending right now. Yeah. But you know, talking about it with you on the drive home, more than anything, I like the size of it. Yeah. And I like the thought of it. And I do like the functionality of the outdoor kitchen. Um, and it's simple, you know, camping is a lot of work. So um, yeah, no, I like how small it is and I'm excited. I'm excited to go places. We're gonna take it to Wyoming. We got a lot of fun stuff coming up. So yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, like she said, we are going to Wyoming next week or the week after next for her family reunion. And then a couple weeks later, we've got High Sierra flying 
and I'm sure we're gonna plan other trips. So we're gonna put this thing to good use. What I will say though, for sure, is I'm impressed with one, how easy it tows. I, you know, I only have a half ton pickup. The F-150 does tow pretty well, but um, you know, for the, what we've done so far, I couldn't even really feel it back there super well. We were towing through a good bit of wind when we were down by Adelanto, California. It handled that great. Our first time ever setting it up was last night at like 10 p.m. in the dark. Super simple, so for your first time doing something, for us to have that good a success, pretty impressive. I mean, there's not really much else I can think of that you're gonna have that good of success with first time aside from like Squarespace. So for those of you that don't know, Squarespace is the ultimate platform to build a website and run your business. You start with one of their award-winning templates, you craft it into your own beautiful, professional website, and it takes like, minutes, like honestly five, 10 minutes to build a website of your own, no experience needed. They've got 24 seven customer support though, should you get into a bind, which I don't think is gonna happen. And they have features for literally every industry. So I don't care what it is that you wanna do with your website, whether it's an online store, personal blog, professional photo gallery, you can do that with Squarespace. So head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. When you're ready to purchase, go to squarespace.com slash Trent Palmer. That'll get you 10% off. Thank you again, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing unpacked. I looked at the trip meter in the truck. We spent 19 and a half hours in this thing in the last day and a half, which means most of our time we are exhausted. We're gonna get this put away, showered up. Maverick's probably a good representation of how we feel right now. So you guys know the drill. Like this video if you do. Subscribe if you haven't. Come be our wingman. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. That was a good Squarespace thing. I didn't even think of <laughs> Thanks, bitch. I was like, you caught me off guard. That was really impressive. Thanks, I work on those. I know, it's, I just smiled at you because I was like, oh, I didn't realize you were wrapping it like that. Impressive.